Okay, other guys. Uh, this tutorial about continuing our library management system. It has been a while since I last updated uh, the project. So um, it seems that last time we worked on this, uh, we finished uh, adding new book. Now we need to create something or uh, the interface in order to modify one of the books. Um, before I do that, I need to remind myself a little bit so um, about the interface of the project. So I'm gonna run this here. I think it was 99, something like that. Go. Okay. So here we have book. Okay, there we go. Um, here we have. Yeah. Uh, add a new book, and we have this interface, right? So now. Uh, modifying a book means uh, that we need to display a similar interface okay but the values here will be um, it will be possible for us to change it uh, the, these fields will be filled so let's work on that okay so let's move this a little bit let's go and move down here and Okay, uh, what about the book class? I think I already created the modify thing, right? So we have the set and get, no problem. Set and get, okay. So I think all is working fine. So let's go to the client project. Okay, so here we'll have uh, edit book form. So add here. Uh, So this is going to be edit book form and I'm going to say add over here. Okay, now this form is going to be what? Uh, this form will be uh, let me see. This is going to be fixed single. There we go. Um, what also do we need to do? Uh, there is no maximize and there is no minimize buttons. Okay, that's very good. Now, let's go and have a look at this add book form. So, what do we have also here? Here are the titles add a new book. This is gonna be edit book. Sorry, edit book. There we go. Also, let's go and have a look at the size or dimension. Oh, we have the start position and the size of this one. Control C, click over here. Control V. Okay, center screen. That's great. So we save this. Click over here and uh, click inside. Control A, copy click over here, control V, paste. Okay, so we got everything in place. <coughs> Sorry. Now, um, okay. Uh, here we need to define, ne uh, okay, define the book object that we can update. So here, public. Uh, book obj as um what's the name of the first project library management system dot okay there we go so it's gonna be library management system dot book class there we go okay so here um full the user interface there we go so what we need to do, put this one here. Okay, this is B title. This is B author. I think they all have the same names. Okay, that's good. So here, uh, this is gonna be B title equals book obj dot uh, get title get book title. All right there we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, this is dot text. That's why it's okay. The next one's gonna be b author dot text equal book obj 
dot get book author. There we go. And uh, what do we have also? We have publication here. B pub pub. Wait a second. This is B year. B year dot text equal book obj dot get. Uh, get here I think get author where is it keyword book title get book publication here there we go no problem and uh, what do we have next we have the press which is b press b press dot text equal book obj dot get press there we go next one subject b subject dot text equal book obj dot uh, um, get subject great next we have the keyword so b keywords dot text equal book obj dot get keywords uh -huh. and available copies b dot oops b available copies dot text equal book obj dot get available copies same technique total copies b total copies dot text equal obj get total copies what do we have also we have the barcode b barcode b barcode dot text equal um, book obj get barcode where is it this is barcode okay so what we have here this is the shelf number um, so here b shelf number dot text equal book obj dot get shelf number there we go now um, there is an issue here we need to fill uh, this one with the list of available shelves right so if I'm not mistaken I can do something like if I still remember the code library management system dot shelves class dot full combo box with shelf on formation and this is gonna be b shelf yep followed by um, main window dot db uh, dbms there we go okay so here we're gonna say we're going to say if not this thing then in that case msg box uh, enable or error while getting shelf information and followed by critical or ok only and this is going to be error over here there we go and enter that's good and uh, me dot close so we get this one closed and exit sub otherwise it's gonna continue uh, what also do we have we have this one here okay I think I think this is okay now if you press the cancel me dot dialog result equal cancel and that's it cancel the edit now if you press ok you want to validate all the information so let me get to this one and now i am going to copy this code reason is this is the validation part so i don't want to repeat this code now come to think of it maybe i should uh, put this code in um, a function let's say 
and call it whenever I want to do some validation uh, regardless so to, 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 to create book object okay so here I'm gonna say wait a second I can copy all this no problem I think control C let's go to edit book and uh, this is the OK button enter enter control V so the difference here is that instead of uh, using this I will say equals me dot book obj so I'm using the same book object and here I am setting the values over here and then I am uh, going to call uh, let me see let me see where is it I remember I should have done some kind of update db this is update db right okay so here we just call update db and the database will get updated enable of updating updating the book it's as simple as that error and this way we have our uh, edit book uh, function uh, sorry window finished now we need to tailor this one into the user interface so let's go to our um, main window double click on that so what do we have we have let's see so we have add book here we are gonna have edit book okay so um, data entry over here uh, okay so this is data grid view 3 if we click here this data grid view 3 as you can see make sure you select books okay don't select shelves and click here because you will get data grid view 2 uh, you must know which control you are working on so uh, this is data grid view 3 maybe I should have called it DGV books anyway uh, you get the idea so here uh, sorry um, and this one okay used to edit a book so first thing you want to do you want to make sure that uh, there is a row that's being selected so if uh, if dgv3 dot selected row uh, selected rows dot count equals zero then it is a sub okay or maybe we can display a message uh, let me see here what did I do previously here did I yeah just exists up that's it so nothing special here um, okay because I want the code to be consistent I don't want to for example if I was displaying messages I want every place to display messages if there's no selection anyway so here um, <coughs> I'm sorry so dimension book ID as string equal dgv3 dot selected rows of zero dot cells of dot value now what is the cell here the cell here should be <coughs> <coughs> sorry come on this is the books table and okay it's book ID so it's gonna be book ID D capital ah, doesn't matter here next after this uh, load the book object so here dimension book obj as a new library management system dot book a class so if not book obj dot load book from database what's going to be here this is going to be dbms sorry dbms followed by book id then uh, msg box enable of loading book information okay followed by critical or okay oops or okay 
there we go. Followed by error. There we go. And um, yeah, this is an, an error message and exists sub. Otherwise, if I was able, floating that, create the edit book window. So dimension when as a new uh, edit book form. And then when dot uh, book obj equal book obj. Now this might be confusing, but uh, although this is the same name, this one is local to this function. This book obj belongs to the window we are just uh, creating. So we are passing this object into this window. I received the question someone was asking, what am I doing here? I am passing the information of the book into the window so that the window will display the information of the book to the user uh, before the user starts editing things okay so this is why i'm doing this now um if when dot show dialog equal okay then which means you press the okay button and the save completed successfully um in that case what am i gonna do i'm gonna fill the user interface and i think i created a function full gui uh let's have a look here um yeah so it's something like this so i'm gonna copy this one let's go back here go to the edit dun 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 okay control v yeah so you just call this one and that's it so we finished editing the book now let's test let us test this test it out can't speak english gosh smith 99 one two three go and we have books and Let's double click that. The flying monkeys. I don't know why I like this, but anyway, it is. So we have the information here. Uh, wonderful. So I'll put this in shelf C and press OK. And now um, we can see that this one's in shelf C. OK. Um, let's go and edit this again. The great, great flying monkeys. OK. Why there's a faster flying monkeys? Um, not I'm not good with English, but uh, wait a second. Does do you change this? Uh, no, I think this one's correct. So okay, so here you can see the great flying monkeys. Blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. So if you find the spelling of monkeys here wrong or something like that, let me know. I want to improve my language. Okay, so now we finished this one. Let's save this and let's go back to our progress document. So. Um, the staff modifies a book this one is finished okay so next thing we need to do is removing a book okay so the thing we have here um sorry oh uh the thing that we need to do is uh since we have a look how to create the remove here da -da 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 -da. okay uh it's gonna be something very similar to this so i'm gonna copy the code over here okay copy Okay, so let's go back to this one. There we go. It's gonna be remove book. There we go. Double click that. I'm gonna paste the code and change things here. So first, this function is used to remove a book. Okay, make sure a book is being selected. So this should be DVG uh, data grid view three and load the object and instead of this one rename this is going to be book obj go and this is going to be book gosh book class okay so here um this is going to be a rename this is going to be what this should be book id enter and we should go to the integrated tree this is going to be book uh, oops book id and we get this one so we are while loading book information no problem delete book remove from db blah 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 or deleting book this should be book information etc etc and this should be what book uh, class oops uh, wait a second uh, 
book class. There we go. Full DGV with. Wait a second. Full with book on full. This should be DGV three. Or why this blank book information? Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. So this is the remove book. Okay. So now the reason I copied and pasted the code because it's almost the same. Okay. So here I am checking if uh, an item in the data grid view was selected or not. I am creating the object. I am getting the ID from data grid view. Okay. Uh, the book that I selected. I'm getting its ID. Then I am loading the book from the database. And I'm calling the remove. Uh, and if everything goes well, I'm displaying the information to the end user. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run this and let's try. So, Smith 99123 go. And let's go to books. I hate the second title because uh, it's meaningless. Meaningless. Remove book and everything works well. The book is being removed, uh, was removed successfully. So, uh, I'm gonna add a new book, blah blah blah, okay, whatever, okay, I know, come on, why I'm so lazy, go, shelf number, barcode, okay, so we have this one, so this is just for another chest, so we click here, select book, and remove book, everything works fine. So this one is also finished. So I'm gonna save this here, and um, okay, this one is done. Okay, so the next one is for searching. Um, I'm gonna stop the video for a few seconds and uh, uh, okay. So uh, going back to our code, the next thing is to perform search. Now uh, for performing search. Um, Let's get back to this. I did some work and then I realized I made things a little bit more difficult for everyone. The code wasn't good, so now I am. Uh, I removed that the work I did and uh, for the search, I mean, and uh, I'm gonna do it in the better way. Okay, so uh, we we finished add, edit, and remove. Now what we want to do is perform search. So how do we are gonna do that? First, we need to do some kind of uh, search. Uh, sorry, some kind provide some kind of strip over here that will uh, display search options. So first, I'm gonna undock this. Okay, so you can see now we have uh, we we can change this one so that we get some space. Now we put a uh, tool strip right. Where is that tool strip? Okay, there we go. We put this one here, no problem, and this one here. Now, uh, make sure that the anchor for this one is... Wait a second. Da, 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 da. The anchor should be all sides. There we go. Now, this is good. Let's go back to this one. Now, what do what do we need here? Uh, we need to provide a label, which have, which have some text. Uh, we need a text box. We need another label. And we need a combo box, and we need a button, and we need another button. Now this is very confusing for you guys, and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, why I did all this. So the first one's gonna contain some text. So here this is gonna be search. Okay. So far so good. This text box will contain the th the the text that you type in order to search. So in this case, I'm gonna uh, this is gonna be what? This is gonna be search book TX. Search book text box. This one is also some kind of, you know, just message. This is gonna be in. Now, this is a drop down list, so um, let's have a look. Uh, from this, you should be able to select the. Uh, let's say the uh, option or which column you want to filter now this one is used to perform the search uh, if you press enter you'll find that text is not displayed so there is one of the properties I think it's uh, yeah display style 
I'll change this from image into text and this is gonna be what uh, display style where is it where is it where is it the text um, you know what da, 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 da. yeah cancel cancel search there we go okay so now it's gonna be something like this you type here you select the column here either hit search or cancel search as simple as that okay maybe I can have some you know is there a border 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 I don't believe I have borders uh, back color um, maybe I select something like that okay for this one I choose also something like that okay so okay I uh, just want to distinguish them uh, I don't believe I did a very good job here right I may be this one you know just so that you can distinguish these guys okay uh, this one yeah I think uh, this one's obvious okay so what we want to do now is this combo box should contain the name of the columns of the books table the one that's being displayed to the end user so how do we do that I'm gonna save this and what's this one called this is just a fun combo box so I'm gonna call this search book CB search book combo box I'm gonna double click here and go to the load event yeah uh, so what should we do okay this is some of the old code and I'm gonna remove it um, now I'm gonna write the code so the easy way or uh, not the easy way the, uh, the easy way is to just fill the items you know but the best way is loop on the data grid view number three and put the labels okay so this is how, how we do it uh, full the combo box for the books uh, search uh, for the search uh, books for search books uh, okay so here I'm gonna say for dimension I as integer for I equals 0 to uh, dgv3 dot column uh, column count minus 1 now if dgv3 dot columns of I dot visible then if the column is visible I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna say uh, search book combo box dot items dot add dgv3 dot columns columns of i dot header text. It's as simple as that. Okay, this is very easy, very effective, and we are gonna run this now. Hopefully, it works. Let's see. Go. Smith 99123 go and now let's go to the books and you might be wondering where are the values there we go I have book title etc etc okay it's working perfectly fine maybe I should just put uh, one of these options and uh, make one of these options selected or by default so here I'm gonna put another thing also uh, I'm gonna say <coughs> oh wait a second um, this is what yeah so uh, wait a second this if statement is used to display the information for the staff so this one should be moved and put inside here and next we say search book cb dot uh, selected item Selected index equals zero. That's it. Let's run this again. Hopefully it work. The reason I said selected index to zero because it's the first value. So you can see here book title. So search blah 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 on book title search or cancel search. That's it. Now what we need to do next is we get this text and we know which column to filter on 
and we use that now how do you filter the information in uh, in uh, data grid view while well, you use the binding source now the binding source is obvious and if you use a designer you see the control on the screen however in our code we don't have something like that uh, what what I did is um, where is this one let's go to this database management system so you can see here this is the full data grid view you can see here I'm creating my own binding source at runtime and full the information and it's this that we are going to use so all we have to do is access data grid view access the data source and use the filter property so this is how we are going to do it so uh, this is the search okay search for a book okay so the first thing to do here uh, create the search condition okay so dimension filter str a string equal equals a uh, text box one right uh, <coughs> Okay, uh, sorry, what was it? Uh, search uh, dot text. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. So this one, uh, we got the value we are searching for. The thing is, next, uh, we need to know which column. Identify which column okay uh, the search should work on so here uh, dimension i as integer for i equals zero to data grid view three dot columns dot count minus one and then if data grid view three dot columns of i dot visible then we go to the next stage so if data grid view three dot columns of i dot header checks equals uh, search book combo box dot selected value selected uh, yeah selected item there we go then okay now we identified which column so we can get the database column okay so uh filter st str equals dgv3 dot columns of i dot uh name okay and wait a second <coughs> now um let me check a few things here because this one is going to work on exact values. Uh, wait a second. Uh, pa, 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 pa. So let me make this a little bit more flexible. If data grid view 3 dot columns of i dot uh, get. header cell, header text, index, inherited style, is it about minimum width, name, read only, select site, sort mode, state tag, value type. Okay, I'm gonna need this one because I want to distinguish numbers from other type of columns. Value type. Uh, um, equal system dot type dot wait uh, wait a second string dot string dot compare how can I get the type new string string 
Wait a second, wait a second. To string. Uh, maybe I, I will wait a second I will make it like this and I will modify the code at runtime then else anyway so here okay here I'm gonna use this one when there's a string so it's gonna be filter str maybe and like comma percent plus the value over here plus percent comma double quotation okay otherwise <coughs> I'm sorry and uh, equal this one right okay so we have this one and uh, we, we generated this string and now we are gonna apply the filter so dimension bs as binding source equal uh, data grid view 3 dot data source okay and then try this bs dot filter equals filter str okay so if all goes well it will continue executing otherwise ps dot filter equals nothing okay so this should do it I'm gonna put a breakpoint here and uh, save this and now I'm gonna run if uh, as soon as this works well I will explain what's happening Smith 99 one two three go and let's go back to this one, the title a d d, and I'm gonna say search. So what do we have here? What's the value here? I'm gonna say add watch. This is what string just. There we go. So uh, it didn't work. I'm sorry. Oh, it's system dot string. Gosh, it is system dot string there we go let's go back to this one make sure it works so what do we have so the book title is like percentage d contains double d and this one uh, okay it worked well so let's run this okay so we have nothing here I'm gonna say mm, m for monkey and search we get the result AAA search we get nothing now let's try the year I'm gonna search for the year year 2 search this one okay no problem so <coughs> I'm sorry let me now work on the cancel and then I will explain what's happening the cancel search okay cancel search is very easy uh, used to cancel search Okay, dimension BS as binding source equal DGV3 dot binding uh, data source and then BS dot filter equals nothing. Easy. Okay, now let me explain what's happening over here. <coughs> so this one is gonna store. <coughs> I'm sorry. Gosh. This one's gonna store what? This is gonna store our filter so first thing we want to do is loop on all the columns to identify which column is selected for filtering so if the column is visible then uh, we are gonna check the header text if the header text is the same as the one being selected in the combo box it means we found the column that we must apply the filter on so now we are gonna build the string uh, the filter string now the filter string uh, have different formats if it works with numbers or with strings so if the data type of the column is of type string this this is what this if statement means if the 
data type of the columns of type string then use the like and put this percentage so that you don't have to enter the exact uh, text you can enter part of it otherwise you can uh, otherwise you want uh, an exact match with the number okay and later on you will get the the binding source here and you will set the filter that's it so now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna run the code and I'm gonna show you how we can filter the values smith 99 one two three go and this is books I'm gonna okay I maximize this a lot anyway so book add a new book uh, um, ABC for example author Lul for example publication here 222 2222 JJJ subjects SSS whatever 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 what <laughs> Uh, total copies for code A. Okay, so available copies. Okay, available copies. Total copies. Okay, <coughs> so we are gonna search for any book title that contains A. Search that, no problem. What about AB consecutively? Search that, you can see the, fir the, sec the f this one. I'm gonna say mon for monkey and search. And since this one contains flying monkeys, it's working. So this one's year is 1999. I'm gonna change the search for the year. <coughs> I'm sorry, year. Now the year is search. You can see this one. And if you want the first book, 1999, and search, you get it. And if you cancel the search, you get the results. So it is working perfectly well as you can see uh, if you want to get the books that are available uh, this is available and you want the available value to be 3 search you can see the available is 3 and if you want the other one which is 9 available so you can see the available is 9 what about the keywords so you can say the keyword contains W and search uh, oh Okay, what a surprise. What about the letter O? This is O and search, we get one. Okay, so as you can see, this is how you can create a very simple filter. Uh, <coughs> it's not that difficult. Okay, and it's working. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna mark this one here. Okay, I'm afraid I'm gonna stop here. I won't do more. Uh, the next tutorial I'll work on the students okay so if we check our progress we finished about uh, 24 uh, 42 percent of the work um, sorry for not doing lots of progress with this for not having lots of progress with this one but I have kind of limited time okay anyway so I hope you'll find this useful I'll upload the source code uh, on the website uh, so check out the website, download the source code, try it out, and uh, if you have any questions, send them to notes at mksub.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.